Oh my gosh. I got so lucky. Here's a live gray tree frog. I'm gonna get out of the road before this bus comes. There you go. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. He alive. Woo! Yeah! Just got this guy across the road. Bus didn't come this way, but still. You can hear it. It turned. The bus turned. But I got this guy to the road, and I'm really glad, because all I saw was DORs. And I even saw a DOR crayfish, which I'm pretty sure are non-native to the area. So I'm glad I just found this gray tree frog. Get this guy in my hand. Oh, it's my flashlight. Yeah, really glad I just got this guy to the road. So many DORs. Awesome. I love these frogs. These guys make an awesome orchestra at night. And you can probably hear them in the background. Yeah. So awesome. I'm going to take some photos and let this guy be. Alright, just took a couple photos. I'll let this guy go. Peace out, buddy. Be safe. Alright, just came out to the Pine Barrens. And I spotted this little pile of cement and started looking under it and found this little eastern worm. Nice pink belly and brown top. Over by me I'm used to those those dark tops. These worm snakes are crazy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back. So, just look how orange this Fowler's Toad is. Really pretty. <laughs> awesome. Oh, see you later, buddy. Then look at this Fowler's Toad. More of that black and white. Just before he dips off. See how this guy's more black and white? There's a lot of variation here. All right, so I just lifted up a neighborhood board and found this little juvenile garter under it. But cool. Gonna go ahead and put this guy back after I take a couple photos. It seems to be in shed, but awesome. Just ran into this big adult garter crossing the trail. Try to get some hands on it real quick. But what a big garter snake. Ooh. Pretty too. Yeah, so a really pretty garter snake. Looks like it has a little stub tail, so it probably got bitten off from, from something else. But really nice surprise. I'm out here to go check out one of my spots. So Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this garter gets off the trail since there's a couple walking by. So, see you later, buddy. Awesome. Let's go the other way. Go that way. Okay. See you later, buddy. Actually, it might be coming this way. I'm gonna get on the other side of the trail instead because it's trying to get over there. I can tell. Alright buddy, see you later. Cool. Alright, so I'm walking along the trail and just on the side of the trail was this little garter snake. He's hiding right now. But awesome. I'm gonna let this guy get back on his way. But you'd see he's kind of hiding his face from me for protection, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't see many species of snake do this other than like hognose snakes. So, it's a cool defense mechanism, and also it looks pretty. So I'm going to leave this guy alone and see what else we find today. Since this guy is kind of in this like playing dead state, I'm going to get this guy out of view from any predators. So yeah, 
I mean, he's alive and good, but he's just playing dead on me. See you later, homie. Take care. These dragonflies are so cool. I've seen a ton today. But they're very easily scared, so I can't get any good video or footage or photos of them, but yeah. And here's a pickerel frog. I just scared by accident over onto the side on the uh, the bank of this stream. But he'll come back up as soon as I leave. But tons of them have been doing that. Every time I step, there's a pickerel frog that'll jump out in front of the trail. There's one. Let's see if I can get him on camera. Oh. Dang it. And these are really quick frogs too, so I don't blame myself. Here's another one of these dragonflies. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm out here. It's drizzling a little bit, and uh, just encountered this little green frog. I found a bullfrog over near the pond's edge. Yeah, this guy looks hit, as you can see. So I'm gonna get this guy across real quick. All the frogs are getting hit. It's terrible. All right, see you later, buddy. Stay out of the road. And here's a little metamorph uh, green frog. The other one seemed to be a little bit old, older than this one, but. I don't know if you can tell, but they look a lot different from when they get older. But I'm going to turn this guy in that direction, I guess, so that he doesn't keep going in the road. Go that way. There he goes. He's going alongside the road. Come here. And you see that dorsal lateral ridge, too. Really cool. See you later, dude. Stay out of the road. I just flipped these boards. It's later on in the day. I spotted these two ring necks. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out. Get a little better look at them. Awesome. Two ring necks. All right, so here's the two ring necks. This guy has a little stump tail. Got a nice disconnected ring. And you probably know, these guys are part of that integrate zone. So this guy has a little bit more of a uh, complete ring. But yeah, these are southern ringnecks. Or southern integrate ringnecks, so. Cool, I'm gonna take some photos and put these guys back. Awesome. All right, so, just found this water snake. Give me a nice bite. But look at this guy. Sorry I'm so shaky. I just got off my bike too. But yeah, big adult northern water snake. Just found, he just jumped off the trail and then into this flooded part of the trail. But he wasn't really going anywhere so I just like uh, gently took him out of the water. But yeah. Really glad to see this guy. This is a beautiful water snake. Oh shoot. You see those nice bands on the sides? Again, I'm really sorry I'm so shaky. And I'm like bleeding everywhere because of that anticoagulant. But awesome. Really glad I came out. I'm glad I just saw this one. Really cool. Gonna go ahead and let this guy be. And uh Try to not bleed anymore. There he goes. Peace out, buddy. Awesome. Let's see what else we find today. All right, I came out to this old board site where I found eggs, and I just realized that they're racer eggs, and I heard something right next to the end of the boards. Here's a black racer. What a gorgeous guy, but he's in shed. So I'm not going to mess with this racer at all. But... 
glad to get some good video of a black racer. It's been a while since I've gotten just about this close. And uh, yeah, what a big racer. Maybe just about four and a half feet, but awesome. All right, I just flipped up that smaller board and a ring that got away, but then I flipped the last board and found this really big, it might be gravid, eastern worm snake. It's actually a really pretty individual. And like the last one here, it's very brown, but <sighs> got a tick on me. Let me put this guy back though. Yeah, so it seems the worm snakes here are very brown. And so, I'm going to go ahead and get this tick off me. See it right there. I just spotted this 10 stack. And look what's right next to it. A big, long, what I assume is a racer shed. So. Alright, just got this beautiful black racer. Found under a board. It's on the side of this power line cut. Look at this guy. Probably about a three footer. No bites yet. A little death roll though. But look at this guy. Gorgeous black racer. How pretty is this dude? He's got some shed coming off still. I don't know if you hear that in the background. Some animal's making some weird noise. Try not to freak him out at all. But anyway, seems like he's in the middle of a shed cycle. So I don't know if you could see that, but on the, sort of the end of his tail, or end of his body, there's some shed coming off. But really gorgeous snake either way. And really calm too, surprisingly. Like, I would have expected a bite by now. I'm anticipating on it, but this guy seems to not be interested in biting me. So, really awesome black racer. Glad he's being cooperative, not bite me or anything. Looks like the end of its tail was bit off by something. Most likely a predator, like a fox or a coyote. They like to prey upon these guys, but I think that's a bird behind me making that weird noise. But yeah, awesome black racer. I'm going to go and get some photos of this in-shed dude and put him back right under that board, board pile. But yeah, really cool. Second racer of the day. I don't know what that noise is. But now there's one behind the camera, behind my phone. Awesome. Oh, it's okay, buddy. All right, gonna go and put this really sweet black racer back under his board pile. But awesome. Nice power line cut racer. Let's get this guy right back where he was. Sorry, buddy. Find your way under there. I want to make sure he gets back under that board. <laughs> there he goes. Going in through that corner. And he's starting to rub off some of that shed. If you caught that. Cool. made it across the street. And another metamorph green frog. This guy has cool speckles. Really cool individual. I'm gonna take a photo real quick and get this guy out of the road. Doesn't look injured. See you later, dude. 